He switches and says, do not show favoritism. Here it is, you're taking notes. Because when you do, you slander the name of God. It's time to repent. <laughs> Don't show favoritism. Because when you do, when you do, you slander the name of God. Verse 5 through 7 says this. Listen, my dear brothers and sisters. Has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world? Watch this. Poor in the eyes of the world. All right, just make sure we're clear. In the eyes of the world, to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom he promised. Those who love him. See how he's checking them? Like, no, no, no. The, I don't care what the world says. You be careful how you handle people because they are rich in faith and they have the same inheritance that you do. So your inheritance in the kingdom of heaven has nothing to do with how many degrees you have, how much money is in your bank account, how many cars you have in your driveway. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It only has to do with the work that Jesus has already completed, which means there is nothing you can do but sit there and accept the fact that you can't do it on your own and God has already done it for you. And he says, listen, he says, why are you mistreating them when they have the same inheritance as you? Why are you mistreating them when they have the same father as you? Why are you mistreating them when they're just as rich, I would say probably more rich in faith, than you are? And now you, you took it upon yourself to make a division in my church? God said, you've lost your mind. He said, I, I don't know who your pastor is or who your rabbi is, but it's my church. And I don't allow division in my church because the last time I read Colossians, it says that we are all one in Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 60 says, but you have dishonored the poor. Is not the rich who are exposing you? I told you it was in there. Are they not the ones who are dragging you into the courts to take your money and possessions? That's what was happening. It was rigged. Right? And you're blessing them. Verse 7. Here we go. Now we're in trouble. Are they not the ones? Hold on. Let me just reframe this. He's not talking about the court anymore. Not talking about the judge anymore. Not talking about the rich anymore. He's talking about us. He says, are they not the ones who are blaspheming the noble? Here it is. The noble name of him whom you belong. Another translation says, are you not slandering the name of God? That when you and I make special account, like when you decide that this person is better than this person, you're in trouble. Now, it's division in the church now. Now you've made classes and all those other things in here. But the, the, the mistake you've made is, you, you, I apologize, you have now given this person a skewed or distorted view of who God is. You have slandered his name. How do I slander his name? Because now if he feels less than or second class citizen in the kingdom, because how you have handled him, because how you handle this person, then you have slandered his name because that's not who God is. He says when you act outside of God, you slander his name and have the other people having a distorted view of him. Now, now, now what if he believes that God doesn't have nothing for him? What if he believes that, he, that, that God doesn't love him as much as he loves them. What if he believes, well, how much work do I have to do to get to where you are? None. God has already done the work. But what you have done is, you, 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 you come in church and, and, and they're coming to church right? Why? Because you made a distinction that one group's better than the other. Can I go a little deeper now? Now, you, you, we got to be careful because they, they judged them based on what they were wearing. Right? How do you judge people based on what they have or do not have? Let me see if I can help you. Girl, did you see that dress? Not, not, not at this church, but I heard there are churches. 
girl, did you see that? What if that was the best dress she had? Did you see that car he rode up in? What if he prayed to God to have a way to get from point A to point B and that's the best he has and he, and he drove to church to give God praise and all, did you see that? Hey, you need to you need run, nope, 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 not with you. Did you see that purse she was wearing? Did you see that purse? What if she saved for months to gift herself that purse? And all she's hearing from the Christians, the brothers and sisters, the believers of the Lord Jesus Christ, is about what they're wearing and not what about God is doing. Did you see those shoes he was wearing? They look like biscuits. I don't know if those were Air Jerusalems or Air Bethlehems or what he was wearing. But he was wearing them. Oh, what are those? The, those are the Jerusalem fours. I don't know what those are. I heard they came for me at the Comedy Cafe. I got to get ready. I heard they came for me on Friday. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get them back. Don't worry, I'm going to show up. I heard they came for me. I'm going to get them back. Think about this. So listen, so we, listen, we have, we have made it about what people have instead of about people having God. 